Hello, this is channel Layer Race, and today I will be creating this digital connections element inside After Effects using a plugin called Plexus. Uh, where you can get this plugin, I will leave a link in video description. And okay, let's start. I always make my composition in 4K and 60 frames per second. Okay, let's make new solid, call this Plexus. So you have Plexus installed, set search for Plexus plugin. Let's add geometry, select primitives. To open up, if you don't have this panel open, just go to this in effects and presets and click open. Okay, let's change to sphere. Let's change, decrease number of sphere slices and stacks and increase size a little bit. Let's make our points larger let's change color like something like blue let's add lines now go to add effect uh, add renderer and lines and in the lines options let's increase maximum distance until you have lines visible like this Okay, now let's make all these objects in group one. So go to primitives and select group one, go to points, group one and lines. One group and group one. Okay. Now select Plexus primitives object and control D to duplicate. And let's change this to group number two and increase size a little bit. Also duplicate points, drag one below and group two. I'll go to primitives, increase size for a second group. Like something like this. Now go to Add Renderer and select Beams. And in the Beams settings, se select Groups. Okay, now let's animate our points of a second group. So select Primitives. No, it doesn't matter which ones you select, just add a factor and noise. Select noise to apply only on group two and let's change increase noise amplitude to something like this. And let's animate now our noise. Go to noise details and click loop evolution. Go to the start of animation and click noise evolution, go to the end of animation and enter here one. So as you can see now, our points are moving. Okay, now let's, what else can we do here? Now let's make this a rotating sphere so add camera and add null object make this null object a 3d layer and parent the camera to a null object now select null object hit r for rotation click on stopwatch 
in Y rotation in the first frame. Go to the end of a timeline and enter one. So now our camera is rotating. And this is looped animation. So now we can add a little bit more particles. Select plexus, control D to duplicate. Let's rename this to particles. Let's remove our first group and leave only second group. So remove this. Let's make this first layer un invisible so we can see only particles. Go to primitives object number two and increase radius like this. And we can also increase noise. So we have basic particles here. And let's try and add a depth of field. Okay, go to plexus, shading. Unified rendering and depth of field camera settings. And now go to your camera. Camera options, depth of field on. Let's increase aperture to maybe 50. And focus distance should be same as zoom. And we can decrease aperture or increase it. Play with focus distance also. And now we have it. Very easy to do. And you get you get a basic understanding of this plugin. And I will leave a link in video's description to a project file where you can download it and okay thanks for watching and goodbye